there, Griff Hamlin here from Blues Guitar Unleashed. Welcome, thanks for joining me in this video. I'm gonna talk about a fun uh, double stop idea. Um, obviously, I, you may be able to hear, I kind of stole this from, there's a song called Keep Your Hands to Yourself. It's an old Georgia Satellites song. And it has this one particular double stop in it. And it's, it's just a, it's a very simple idea, but it works very, very well over this, uh, this style of blues. So, <laughs> Let me show you what it is. We're, we're playing over an A, you know, A7 type of groove, right? So if you look at an A chord, and there's, by the way, no scale here. <laughs> don't, don't think about scales. This is, this is truly a chord-based idea. If I look at an A chord, and I take these two notes, the C sharp and the E on the third and the second strings, and I'm gonna switch over to my third and second fingers to play them. And the reason that I'm gonna do that is so that I can lightly lay my first finger across the other strings so that when I strum, hopefully you can hear I'm getting mute, 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 note, note, mute, right? I just want those notes. Okay, so. Here's the thing, this particular finger shape, right now it's on the third and the fifth of the chord. Right, A chord. That's the third and the fifth, right out of the chord shape. If I slide up three frets, I'm now at the fifth and the flatted seventh of the chord. Okay, so I this is now like an A7 chord. It's part of, part of that chord. So I'm using the same finger shape Nothing has changed. I just moved it up three frets. And notice, if I go down one fret at a time, it actually sounds cool. Right? It sounds like it's laughing at you a little bit. But it's the basis of, of that turnaround. Okay, so there's that. I can, I can do that. I can take that one same shape. I can move it up three frets and it's great. Let's say I go to the D chord, right? There's my D. I move it up three frets. Sounds great. Okay, I do go to the E chord and it works. Okay, now there's a lot of, you know, creatively, you can do whatever you want, okay? It's, it's. Like, I, you know, how you want to strum that, it's totally up to you and, and it's gonna work, it's gonna be fine. Try to keep it a little bit syncopated, you know, try to stay off of the one, don't start right on the downbeat. All the usual, you know, blues lick stuff comes into play here. The other thing that sounds better to my ear and, and to many, I think, is to make those moves one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and to make those moves on, on ands, right? Use those eighth notes, those in-between beats. That's what's gonna get you the cool sound. It's a simple idea, but when you put it on those off beats, it sounds really good. Okay, so what else can we do with that? From an A, I can slide down two frets. Now, you might say, how does that work? Well, that is the nine and 11 of the chord. It creates basically an A11 kind of sound. So it creates a little bit of tension. You're not gonna wanna hang out there all day. But if you come back, <laughs> it works, <laughs> okay? So uh, again, if I'm playing that A. It's gonna sound good. If I'm in D, it's gonna work. If I go to the E, it's gonna work, okay? And again, I can chromatically get there. Why? Eh, just because I can. Okay, it's, it's, I can literally go, like if I'm in A, 
I can hit every single fret along the way and it'll work. Okay, it'll actually sound okay. Now, those are the two, I'll say, easiest on the ear ideas. <laughs> okay, there's one other thing that I'll say works and, and, and isn't wrong. You may or may not like the sound of this. And that is from the A again, I go up the three frets, I can go up two more frets from there and I get basically a D. Now, this is just kind of, that's the A, okay, the top note is A, the lower note is, is, is an F sharp, it's the 13 of the chord. Again, we're creating some tension up there. As long as you resolve it, you're gonna be okay. When it comes to the D. Again, it's probably gonna be okay. And same over E. Right, so you can, again, you can get away with all of these things. Some of them, you know, create a little bit more tension than others, okay? Tension is not necessarily bad, it's all in how you serve it up. This is obviously very blues-based, okay? Even though technically, that's not an A7 chord, we're treating it as if it is, okay? We're adding that flat seven we're playing the 9, 11, and 13, which are again, those are the chord extensions on a dominant seventh chord. We're sort of putting stuff where, you know, there's nothing in the music that would tell me, oh, you could do that. I'm, I'm just doing it because it's bluesy and I know that that's gonna work, okay? So this is something that you can experiment with. You're gonna find some sounds that you really dig. Again, some of those ones that I'll say are, are not as, you know, maybe they're a little bit, they, they, they create a little bit of tension. It's not outside. It's not like you're playing, you know, sharp nines and flat fives and all kinds of weird stuff. You're just playing notes that are a little bit farther off the chord. And once you do that, some people's ears gonna hear that and go, yeah, that's totally cool, I like that. Some people's ears gonna hear that and say, mm, that's not for me. Fine, absolutely okay. It's just my job to show you all the choices. You get to choose the ones you like the best, okay? So play around with it. It's, it's, it's super easy. All I did is I just put in my looper, I just played, you know, blues and A. And then it's gonna go to a D. Back to A. To E. Back to A. not a fancy idea but if you're playing some of that you know sort of straight country blues rock type of thing man it's it's just a great sound it works really well it's very easy you don't have to play anything fast uh, you get the double stops it's got some meat on it it's just a great sound I dig it I hope you uh, enjoy it too as always, if you have guitar playing friends that you think would dig this video, I hope you will share it with them. Uh, I am Griff Hamlin from Blues Guitar Unleashed, and I look forward to talking to you soon. Take care.